Hey, hey, YouTube, it's the Birdman, Jim Worley Bird here. Just cleaning out the uh, studio and the control room. Just going to give you guys a quick peek on uh, what I'm going to take in the RV with me. So here we go. Hey, hey, it's the Birdman Jim Worley Bird here. Just wanted to give you a quick update. In one of my other videos, you guys seen that I had a lot of stuff in the studio and the control room, and I've kind of narrowed down what I'm going to take with me. Some of the other stuff I already gave to my son and uh, given it away. So here's what I'm going to take with me that I think will fit. I'm leaning towards the fifth wheel with the center bunkhouse. Um, or mid bunkhouse, I guess is what they call it. But it's really just a little den, a little separate room. So I think this stuff will fit fairly good um, in there. I'm also going tomorrow to look at a couple of them in person and make sure that everything is uh, that everything will fit that I do want to take with me. So here's a quick peek on some of the items I'll take so that way I can continue to do my music in the RV. So first off, we'll start with the uh, BX8A by M Audio Monitors, so I'll have two of them. I do have a KRK subwoofer underneath there that I'll take, so I'll have the two speakers and the subwoofer, the uh, iMac, and of course the uh, keyboard controller as well as the uh, little drum pad, of course the iPad to control stuff with. A couple of direct boxes, so that way I can still hook up my electric guitars, and I'm going to take all of the microphones that are up there now with a couple other pair of headphones. And this here is the TC Helicon. Um, that is a way for me to get everything into the computer once I start recording it. So this here is a real nice unit and it's extremely small as you can tell. Now as far as the guitars go, I'll be taking the Ibanez electric acoustic bass, the Les Paul, the Ibanez six string electric acoustic, and then just another acoustic to sit by the campfire and play. Uh, the other two guitars will probably go to my son and uh, the bass and the other guitar there will probably go to my son and uh, he's already uh, came and took some of the stuff. Um, I have some miscellaneous amplifiers and stuff that I'll probably give them. Um, but you can see uh, in one of my previous videos, there was a big 32 uh, channel console here, several other speakers and whatnot. So I'm kind of narrowing it down. It does look like a mess in here with all the cables and all that other stuff. But I'm kind of going through on uh, only what I'm going to need and a couple extra cables just in case one breaks. But you can see some boxes are all packed up and uh, everything is ready to go. And if we go into the actual studio, um, you can see that this room's pretty much cleared out. I got a little more stuff to get out of here, but uh, the drums are gone. Them drums will go to my grandson. And uh, you can see a lot of the uh, musical stuff is out of here and ready for the new owner to come in and do whatever they want with this room. Um, it is extremely well soundproof, so they can have some fun down here. So this is the Birdman Jim Whirly Bird. Just wanted to give you a quick update on how things are going here. And uh, tomorrow again, I'll be heading to a couple other RV stores to look at the mid-bunk uh, fifth wheels, make sure that we can get everything that we want to take with us in there. And hopefully everything will work out and I'll have uh, the new RV here within the next couple of weeks. And hopefully the house will sell by then. If not, then I think we're just going to go ahead and, and uh, start preparing, getting rid of stuff in the house. And within a couple of months, if it don't sell, then we'll just go ahead and auction it off. So that way it's one less thing we have to worry about when we're out on the road. So, um, if you guys can, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Also, there's a link down in the description uh, to the Facebook page, to the website, um, Instagram. I'm now on Instagram, so I'll be doing some stuff on Instagram. And uh, if you guys can follow me on all that stuff, I'd really appreciate it. Let your friends know to come along on this journey with me. And uh, let's see what kind of havoc we can create. So, at any rate, it's the Birdman Jim Whirly Bird. I'll catch you guys later.